Hey guys, Kurt here with Teach Mom How. About four years ago, I made a video on how to make a slideshow from your phone that works on Androids or on uh, iPhones. I made this video. It got watched by over a million people, more than I could have ever expected. And now people are asking for an update because there's a lot of things that have changed and no longer work in that video. The app is no longer supported. So here's the update. I apologize if there's kids in the background. I'm working for home, from home because of the coronavirus. So in this episode, I'm going to show you how to create a slideshow using music, pictures, video, whatever you want to make, or really whatever you want to edit, doing it right from your phone using a free app from Adobe called Adobe Rush. It has replaced Adobe Clip, which the old version showed. Now's the new 2020 version. Let's go. I All right, so in the old video, we told you to use a, an app called Adobe Clip. Adobe, as far as I know, has discontinued that now. So you need to go to the App Store and find a free app. And I'm pretty sure this works on Android too. If it doesn't, comment below and I'll find another solution for you. But the app is called Adobe Premiere Rush. Adobe Premiere Rush. It's very similar to the, but this is the 2020 version, okay? When you get in, it will take you through a quick tutorial where you can play with this media that you see here and practice making some basic edits. I'd recommend you do that, but I'm going to dive in and show you a quick way to just get started and create your slideshow with music. So first, we're going to click the plus sign, and we're going to create a new project, okay? You can either take the video or photo right from your camera live, or you can add the media from your camera roll. All right, so I'm going to go into my camera roll and I'm going to select a picture of my beautiful wife who's about to have a baby any day now. A video of us celebrating my birthday the other day. Selfie of my daughter. Let's see what else we got here. Picture of my son with his beard. Video of the kids riding bikes. Selfie of me and my baby. Picture of my kids playing on the beach. Picture of me at the yacht club. My daughter dancing. Daughter doing a sand angel. You just, you get the idea, right? You select whatever pictures, whatever videos you want. You to be in your video, you name the project, whatever is relevant to your project, click return, click create. We're going to want to zoom in so we can make these bigger. So you zoom by using both fingers on your screen and pinching your fingers together to zoom out, going wider to zoom in, that will show you more of what these are. By default, let's see how long it makes these by default. I can't tell, but I'm guessing it's four seconds. Let me see. If we go from here, 139. Yeah, they're three seconds long, okay? So if you want them by default three seconds, just leave them alone. If you want any or all of your uh, pictures to be on the screen for longer than three seconds, you select the image you want to make longer and you use these orange handles. You click on one side and you click and drag it to the left or the right to make it be on the screen for a longer or shorter amount of time. So it put this video clip for my birthday, the entire clip in. Now I can edit this just like I did the pictures. I can click on one side and trim it, this is called. Trim where it starts, which is fine. Or maybe I want to split the clip and take part out. I can do that by dragging that blue, see that blue hairline? That, that's the cursor, that's the playhead. That's where it's at in the video. So wherever I have that, I can split that. Down here at the bottom, what I want to do is you'll see all these tools. You see titles, transitions, color, speed. I want to click and scroll to the left. Scroll to the left with my finger, okay? And it gives me more options. I want to click on the scissors. That will cut the clip right there, okay? So that cut the clip right there. 
that's if I want to rearrange the order of the clip, or let's say there's just like a middle section I want to take out. I want to take that out, and I want to come back in right here, let's say hypothetically. I would drag there, and I would click the scissors again down at the bottom. And now it's created three different clips, right? There's the first, there's the second. I want to delete the second one. This is an example. You do what you want with your video. I'm just showing you a couple ways to edit. And now I made a cut, you can see here. It plays and then cuts, okay? So now I've got the video that I want. I've got the pictures I want. You can play around with the pictures and make them zoom in and different things like that. You can turn them around using this feature called transform. Okay, you can zoom in on them right here. Whatever I select, this can change the V position. That's the vertical position. The H position, that's the horizontal position. Rotation, if I want them to rotate. Okay. And, um, I want them to be faded in or out. Opacity is an option. And then that's how I zoom in. So if I want to zoom in on a picture, boom. Okay. So you can play around with those. Change them up if you want to make them look a little different, like I just did with that one. Then, once we're ready to go, let's add some audio. To add music, you click Add the add button on the bottom left then you click media and you want to use this back arrow to get out of your camera roll and you want to choose audio okay now I can use either rush soundtracks these are some music that comes with it or anything that's on my phone so if it's not in my phone's library I won't be able to find it here so if you got something in mind you got to get it on your phone first okay just for the sake of um, time I'm just going to choose this random song that I can't even hear because it won't play it out loud while I'm recording this. And I'm going to add it. All right, now I have music in my slideshow. Notice it put it right there, partway into this, the video. That's because that's where my play cursor was, my playhead. So I can just click and drag that back to the front of the video or wherever I want the music to start. I'm annoyed that it won't record the audio of this while we're doing this, but you can see though on the right that there's audio levels going up and down, so it does have the music. Okay, then you want to go also to the end and see how the song just goes on forever. I want the song to end when the video ends, so I put my playhead there, and I go scroll to the right with these tools again, and I need to do a split with this scissors, and then I need to delete the rest of it. Now I have a song that plays just during my video instead of going on and playing for a bunch of black screen. Two last things, it's always nice to add transitions sometimes at the ends of your videos and sometimes at the in-between pictures sometimes. So if you want to add transitions, those are these right here. This tool at the bottom that says transitions, you click on that. You have all different types, of I guess you only have three types. The most common one is a cross dissolve, that fades in between two clips. You put the cursor, the playhead, where you want it, and you click which transition you want to use. Okay. Now I should have a transition that fades to black right here. Nope, I don't. There we go. Now I do. I think I have to select the, the uh, clip. Okay. Go in between them, add a cross dissolve. That should have added a fade between the two pictures. Yep, there you go. Cross dissolve. Boy. There you go. Okay. So you can add transitions if you want them. And then it's always nice to have a little fade in at the front. So I always go to the front and I add a cross dissolve. That'll make it fade from black into the video. And then it's also nice to be able to change the duration of that cross dissolve. You see bottom right, it says duration, it's 0.5, that means it's half a second. If I want that to be longer, I click on it and I can make it one second all the way up to three seconds long. I'm going to make it one second. Okay, 
push play, you can see your one second long fade in. There we go. Now, last thing, it's always nice to have a little title on your videos. So I'm going to title this. You can choose from a few different templates here. I'm going to title this, and then you click on the, the title to edit. It will pop up your keyboard, and you delete their placeholder, and you type what you want. I'm going to type birthday, if I could spell birthday. Raise my subtitle. It's not letting me get over there. Birthday party by Kurt is what I'm trying to write. But I'm having a hard time clicking at the end with my fat fingers. There we go. Get rid of that E. All right. I'm done with that. I can edit the font. I can you'll see down here there's all different types of fonts, font size, different things like that. Feel free to play around with that. Again, just like anything else in Adobe Rush, I can make this this uh text stay on the screen longer or shorter by clicking on the orange handles and dragging longer or shorter. I can also move where it appears by clicking the entire clip and dragging down to where I want. Okay, now once my video is done and ready to go, I should watch it, make sure it looks how I want it, and then I need to export it so that I can share it, so that I can watch it on my phone or put it on uh, YouTube or whatever it is I want to do with it. I'm going to put this back at the front of the video. Okay, so once I got my video looking and sounding how I want it, I click this top right little upload arrow symbol in the top right corner and it will tell me it's ready to export. I can choose the quality of the video. I would leave it as automatic. That's going to just match your camera settings. And then I click export. Now it's going to render. You do not want to lock your phone, so make sure it stays unlocked during this. Don't turn your screen off either while you do this. There's fat me eating some. Rice Krispie Treats. Just about there. Okay, it is saved to my camera roll. You can also upload it to these formats or you can just click done. But I'm just going to double check to show you that this, go to my camera. And there's my video that I just made. All right, from there you can upload it to YouTube or things like that. All right, I hope you found that video useful. If it didn't answer all your questions or you have other questions, please leave them in the comments. Uh, also, let me know what other questions you have, what other things you'd like to learn and I'll do my best to make a video tutorial for it, and I'll promise to do it quicker than four years like this update took. Also, there's lots more videos here about video editing from your phone and on computers and things like that. Take a look at those, subscribe to this channel, and thank you for watching. Have a great day.